All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I just thought I'd do a very quick video just to let you know my plans and how the whole channel's going to work over the course of FM22. FM22 is going to drop very, very soon. It could even drop while you're watching this video. This is Thursday evening, well, Thursday afternoon, so anything may happen. If you haven't bought Football Manager yet and you're going to buy it, link down in the description, click the link, use discount code FMTREK, you get 10% off. I also get a little bit of kickback and it supports the channel through what's going to be a fantastic year, hopefully on the channel. Done a lot of sort of like analysing my FM21 performance and things that need to change. So going forward, there's going to be a fair few changes on the channel, but it's all good. It's quality over quantity. Fingers crossed you'll really enjoy what I've got planned for you this year. All right, so when the game drops, the beta, we're going to be playing with Palmer. Now, this is not just going to be a Palmer save. I didn't just want to do a one-season kind of save. I really don't enjoy a beta save, even though it's good to get to grips with the game. I wanted to do Palmer, so I thought, right, let's, let's use them in the beta. Let's carry it through into the main game for a few weeks while I need to work on the main save in the editor. So what we're going to do with Palmer is a five-year objective. We're going to play for five seasons. We're going to take them as far as we possibly can. I put a little poll out a few weeks ago in my uh, communities page on YouTube just to see what everyone was thinking of what I should achieve. And we're looking at getting Palmer back into Europe. It would be really good to win, like obviously not the UEFA Cup like they did in 1995, but win a Europa League, get into Champions League, maybe sneak a Coppa Italia, maybe even win the title. We're in Serie B. So it's going to be very difficult. Fingers crossed we can get out of that first time of asking. There'll be a couple of seasons building and then season four and five really kick on and see if we can win something with Parma Calcio. So that will be five seasons long. Soon as that's done. Now, that leads us very nicely on to the main save. It is a road to glory. We are starting in the sixth tier, but with a very, very different twist. Now, if you've not seen my save reveal video, I would suggest going and checking it out right now and then come back and then you'll understand what's going on. So the main save is with Athletic Club York. It is a creator club that I've built a story around now. Some of the story, people, loads of people in the comments and messages on Discord, on Twitter are asking me. They thought it was a true story until I appeared on the video. Now, a lot of it is a true story. There was a guy called John Batchelor. He did buy York City. He did turn them. He did change their name to York City Soccer Club. That's their original badge that they had for about a year or two years in the early 2000s. He basically fucked them up. We got him, went into administration. He pocketed like 300 grand out of the deal and literally just disappeared. Um, so I kind of used that backstory to my advantage, twisted it round that he was a billionaire. So that's where that whole side of it came from. And then because of my love for Athletic Club Bilbao in FM21, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So we're only allowed to sign Yorkshire players, players that were born from Yorkshire or have come through the youth academy, similar to what Bilbao do with the Basconi rule. Obviously, the main target is get into the Premier League. Our main city rivals, York City Soccer Club, they're going to absolutely fly through the leagues because they've got seven, I'm going to put them in £700 million in the bank um, with the sugar daddy involved. So they're going to fly up. We've obviously already put Altidore, Eric Lee High, Freddie Adu, Nile Ranger, Jack Rodwell in there just to give them a bit of a star. And we're going to see them fly. So the idea is that we build naturally, we build the youth system and we get ourselves up into the Premier League. I would like to get, the, the idea is to get to the Premier League, not to win it but to get into it. I think get into it is a real, more realistic target. Still a very difficult target with the limitations we're putting on us, the players, what we can sign, and also the backroom staff. The backroom staff must come from Yorkshire. Okay, so any suggestions for players? Because I need to put an original squad together for when the game drops and when the save starts. Any players that are currently free transfers and born in Yorkshire, let me know right down in the comments. That would be muchly appreciated because I'm really struggling to get hold of some players. So if you know any players born in Yorkshire, get them down in the comments. You Patreons as well, you're going to be so key. You, you Patreons are going to be so key this season on the game. Um, the lowest tier, you're going to get yourselves on the uh, staff page in terms of sort of like club board members. The second tier, you're going to be regens in the game. And then the third tier is changing to what's called the scouting team. And you guys are going to be responsible for being my scouts in the game. Because it's quite hard. I can't tell my director of football to only go and find players from Yorkshire. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little closed group, private chat group. And I will be sending you the save file at the start of every season. 
at the end, sorry, at the end of every season and halfway through the season. And then I'm going to give you the opportunity to go and do a little bit of scouting yourselves. Go look through some of the Yorkshire clubs and Northern clubs and see what they've got available for me. So that is the Patreon. That is the main save. There is going to be a shirt giveaway on the first episode. I've decided not to do a game this year. I've decided to do a shirt giveaway. So first video, first episode of Athletic Club York, there'll be an opportunity for you to win an Athletic Club shirt. All right, so that is the main save. Now, I did do two saves last year. We had Bill Bow and Special One. There's only going to be one main save, Let's Play, on the channel at a time. So whenever the Let's Play finishes with, uh, with Athletic Club York, we'll then move on and we'll find maybe another rebuilding save of Fallen Giant. Because of how the data hub looks at the moment, I'm thinking a Moneyball save. That would be quite nice, depending on timings and if we've got enough time to do another big save in between. So that is that. There will be no other sort of like little mini series in between that I've done and it's slowed everything down for FM21. So I've learned a lot. We're really going to focus Let's Play twice a week, Tuesday night, Sunday night, right here on the channel. That will be the home of the Let's Play series, Road to Glory, Athletic Club York. Whole idea now for FM22 is to really build up the streaming. I really enjoy it and I just can't get into a rhythm. So what I've done is I've taken away my editing night on a Monday night, which means I can now stream Saturday nights and Monday nights. I'm only doing three uploads a week on the channel instead of five. So that time of editing, recording, playing games in between on a Monday night, I can now stream again. When the main game drops, it will be La Masia. Barcelona challenge. I think it's a really good challenge just to chill in chat. I didn't want something too difficult. We spoke about Goth uh, Goth Gothenburg that I was going to do build a nation, but I think it'll be too difficult to focus on that and obviously chat with you guys at home. So La Masia, so we're not going to sign any players. We may sign players that have left. I would love to get Mariba back, maybe even get Messi back for a season. But yeah, La Masia Challenge, live stream right here on YouTube, Saturday nights, Monday nights. I've also started a members thing as well because I really want to get into sort of like the, to make it a, a Twitch more like experience, which helps me as a creator. So I've uploaded channel memberships, which is like the Twitch version of subs. I've got that in there. I've put loads of different emotes. We've got some it Italia, um, Italian 90s football in, uh, inspired emotes and channel badges and stuff. I've also done this for the alerts. I don't know who Susanna is, but there you go. Yeah, and we've got some other ones. Uh, my member ones have got my favourite footballers on, so anyone who becomes a member in live stream, we've got Batistuda, Signore Buffon, Totti, Baggio. All right, so I've gone for a real nice little theme. I've kind of upgraded a little bit, new new sort of like camera set up and stuff. So I really want to get focused on streaming because when I'm in the streams and I'm talking to you guys, I absolutely love it. It's my favourite part of being the content creator. I didn't want to get involved in Twitch. My audience is here. It made sense to keep it right here on YouTube. And fingers crossed, a few of you will become members and help support the channel that way. So there'll be two streams. There'll be two Let's Plays with um, Athletic Club York. And then on Thursdays, Thursday night is the night that we do Iconic Tactics, a series that I want to get going, especially that I've been doing a little bit of reading and listening over Igor Saki. So stuff based about using Iconic ta Tactics in the past. I wanted to get it going for FM21 and just run out of time. So that's going to be a real main feature on the channel. So it'll be that. If I was manager of, that's going to come back for FM22 because that proved quite popular as well. Um, the first episode is going to be Barcelona. That'll be available during the beta. And then any other suggestions, we've had Lille and some other ones, let me know down in the comments. So that's Thursday. Iconic tactics, maybe my own little tactics videos. I want to dive into training as well. Quick tips and guides. We'll show you how to put face packs, graphic packs, kit packs. Anything you want me to help you with, put it down in the comments right now and I'll do my best to make sure that one of the Thursdays that gets done. So content will be live on Mondays. There'll be a video on Tuesday, video on Thursday, live stream on Saturday, video on Sunday. So fingers crossed there's something there for you. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know which bit you're looking forward to. Any suggestions for players for Athletic Club York? Obviously, we want to sign Haaland. The idea is that we sign Haaland. I don't think we'll get him early on. It may be a 35-year-old Haaland, but that would be the dream. He was born in Leeds, if you didn't know. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you for FM22. Soon as the game, soon as it drops, we'll be live with Palmer. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you later.